the range. So I select again the data set here, I go here, edit, and here I can specify the range. So I say from 1 to 9.5. Okay, okay, here it is. Now plot 2D, yes, you see, okay, we didn't set uh, a, the correct center, yes, let's drag, uh, click and drag here to see. You see, it's going, uh, we get this wave, uh, and this is due to the uh, fact that we do not have the correct center, exactly the correct center and tilt of the image. And this can be, uh, this is done actually, you see, we go down here, APS was our instrument, and flat image transmission was our method we select to calibrate. So you see image center, image center here is just the, the error on the center, so the delta x and delta y, arbitrary, so it depends on which distance we are using, actually we are using millimeters, so it will be millimeter, okay, and it's zero, zero. And this is what we will refine later, the x, y errors and cosine x cosine y so the tilting and even if we want to if we have an image in which we are not sure we have the same pixel size in both dimensions we can refine that also okay now let's go here what we have to do now we have to load the, uh, the serum oxide right so we go here we need to load the serum oxide and uh, we can actually specify it manually okay so uh, I can show you how to specify manually a phase for example the serum oxide uh, let's put here CO2 oh, sorry, 2 okay and I edit so I add a new phase from here and I edit now I double click to change the name double clicking in the list of uh, here remember we here we can double click change this one like uh, CO2 uh, APS image just to call it and phase CO2 then I click here to edit, go here, so here is, normally you put the, here the chemical formula, and there you put the name, so this is cubic, the space group, convention, I advise to use Emma McGuin in mouth, and the space group should be F, M minus 3M, here it is. You can check uh, also list of atomic position if you are not sure uh, and compute the list of recreation. Actually, I need the set parameter, so this will be my standard and as a standard, I will not refine the set parameter but I will set it. Uh, as uh, I already know it, so let's see, I have already here, I don't remember, but here I have my set parameter, let's go down here, where it was. Uh, here it is, okay, this is our set parameter. So, for our standard and structure. Now, we have two different sites, one for the cilium and one for the oxygen. So I add two sites, then I select the first, double click, I call this CA1, and I select here under atom, this is the cilium. Uh, I can use uh, or, uh, or not. Uh, well, in that case, I prefer uh, 
to use uh, not uh, without oxidation so this is O1 and those of oxygen also you see the oxygen is minus 1 minus 2 or none okay and the oxygen should be at 1 fourth 1 fourth 1 fourth okay so one at zero 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 and the other at one four one four one four and you see the quantity inside the cell is eight and four so this is correct okay we can check also the structure here is okay we decrease and so we see the cerium and the oxygen all quite big actually uh, well if we put uh, the 4 plus and here minus 2 okay let's see yes now we have a smaller radius okay so here is the oxygen and the cerium okay we, oh okay we don't need anymore okay now we just try to compute the pattern to see if we have uh, everything is correct. Ooh, we'll see, I actually, or we do not have the correct distance, or the wavelength is not the correct one, or the set parameter. So the set parameter we input should be the correct one. I bet in this case the lambda was also for this one. What we may have wrong is actually uh, the detector distance let's check uh, it should be a little bit uh, more than one meter okay let's see so what we can do is actually we change it by 10 and we increase you see and in fact it should be around 7 1070 yes here it is okay now okay uh, here we have another problem that changing we actually shift everything so we don't have uh, any more 9.5 is actually out of the range of the our detector so we need to set again a new one so let's say 9 degree is the new limit over here so we go to data set and we put instead of 9.5 9 for the range okay okay so here we are so actually now we would like to refine to calibrate our instrument and to compute also the instrumental broadening on this purpose, uh, we we will work uh, keeping the cell parameter fixed and also the wavelength. So we will refine only the sample and detector distance and the tilting, the image. This is for the uh, detector calibration. For the instrumental broadening, we actually work uh, uh, supposing this uh, uh, serum oxide has no sample broadening. So line broadening model we put none or and this way will the will not we not use any uh, sample broadening. Okay just let's see yes you see now are sharper than I what I can do as usual I can go over here and put uh, the intensity a little bit lower just to check everything is okay so let's decrease well decrease by 0.1 uh -huh. okay uh -huh. 